Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with yours truly Lord of Injury the Mad. Oh, we're actually hidden now that we reloaded the game. We were cautious just before. But we still don't know what the danger in this place is. I hadn't heard of the place before, but apparently my character had. He knew this place was danger, danger. Perhaps there is high voltage. I don't know. I've not been here before. Right. It still looks empty. Shall we? No, nothing. I'm gonna close the door behind me. And take a good look around. Loot what needs to be looted. That's still pretty valuable, but I am lazy. I'm also apparently the model of apathy, so uh, laziness is well within my characters. Birds. Understandings of the world, I don't know. Something like that. The place does look horribly suspicious there. Um, check the path later. Oh, I think I see something. There's motion. Oh, that's a death claw. Cool. Ah, uh, that would explain why this place is apparently dangerous. If it's a motherfucking death claw breeding ground. Is it? Probably isn't. It's probably just, you know, something to do with the enclave again. Can I sleep in the bed? Bam, slept. Also, yeah, sure, pick up another hand. It's not like we don't need any more hands. We probably have like a. like six hands already. Ooh, a missile launcher. Oh. I don't know if I need another one. Won't do me any harm anyway. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. The map marker is pointing that way. But hey. Exploration. Exploration. All good. Okay, that doesn't look good. It's so maybe not all good. I don't see anything that has killed these. They can't watch anything. So really, I... Medic power armor. Sure. What is this? Current in prototype, the medic power armor, referred to as medic armor during after, is designed to protect the soldier in the field and serve as an automated medic. The prototype unit only has medex delivery systems. The production unit will include steam packs and other injectables. User requirements for medic armor stated that even a child should be able to use it without reading this manual. Therefore, an onboard computer system OW with verbal feedback and response systems has been installed. The soldier in the field puts on the armor and the armor does the rest. It automatically senses the limb condition of the soldier and applies medex only if needed. If the defense contract is extended, the onboard computer system will be enhanced to provide command level data to field work officers. A special self destruct will deliver a lethal injection to the deserters. Until the contract is extended, these systems remain offline. Oh, that's when the limited data, that's a jail cell password, that's port 101 door password, and wasteland survival guide. Well, this sturdy guidebook contains a wealth of knowledge for wasteland survivors of any stripe. The pages are filled with good advice about survival in the wastelands and working with others to form communities and rebuild, and its usefulness is only slightly diminished by rambling notes on the minutia of wasteland species. Its intelligent and thorough treatment of the subject makes this an excellent tome despite its minor flaws. I'm not entirely sure I want to 
carry around the prototype with me. But that's only because of this uh, small factor of... You know, if I just repaired my missile launcher, there would be no problem. I still have 30 kilograms of space for stuff. Pounds even. God, if these were kilograms, this guy would be crazy. Alrighty then, um... We must have missed something because there's nothing here that could have killed all those people. And apparently not a single script triggered a placement of an additional death claw once we reached the end of the tunnel, so um I'm slightly creeped out. But with any luck we should be able to just continue on in our actual destination, which is that way. <laughs> cool, fun. Let's hope I don't die. That sounds like a plan. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, this is why stealth was actually very valuable. It actually had very little to do with the whole uh, mess with uh, sneaking into a... What was it? Mirelurk base? Nest? Something like that. How did you notice me already? Oh. Woo, shit! Clever girl! I didn't expect the second one to just jump out like that. Jeebus. That really scared me. And not only just a little bit. Okay, ready, aim. Shit, I can't get a headshot. Um. Sure, let's go straight for the body. Still hidden. Good. Or hidden again, even. And once again, I'm recording during daytime, so yeah, the sun just rotated into my eye. Anyway, I'm just gonna pick this luck. Okay. I said I'm just gonna pick this luck. There we go. Very, very well done. Very well done indeed. Like a burger. Well done like a burger. Alright. <laughs> that sort of just random machine in the corner really makes me feel like this is a good old Dwemer ruin in the middle of Farnenthal. I accidentally picked a lockpick. Broke a lockpick. Um, picking a lockpick doesn't really seem all that useful. What is this place? Well, it doesn't mini nuke. What else do we need? Probably not the blood. Tool cabinet. Ah, sure, let's grab the scrap. In case I accidentally otherwise manage to get myself in serious evil positions again. Though currently I think I'm strongly neutral, which is good. Which is exactly where I want to be. That's a little belt. I don't need a little belt. The belts are big sillies. And I still haven't got myself a railway gun. Sniffles, what's that? A leaf blower? No, I don't need that. I think that's for the rocket launcher, isn't it? I think so, anyway. Should be. Right, D then. I felt tempted to say bring it on, Death Claws, but then I just remembered what recently happened with a Death Claw jumping out of another Death Claw and scaring the Bejeebus out of me. I didn't believe in Jeebus, but there was still a Bejeebus to scare out of me. Imagine that. 
chips. Alrighty. Oh, then. That's just ladders. Ah, there's an enemy in that direction. Quick save and. Oh, just that guy. Sure. Bye. I thought there was music. Evil music. Of the. Nope, you're still in trouble. Kind. I don't hear any anymore. What's the purpose of this terminal? Automated maintenance? Do we need automated maintenance? I don't know. Let's see. Um, flavoring. No, the, it can't be depending. Yeah, it can only be the. No? But how? Oh, overpriced. There we go. <laughs> I didn't notice that one. I only saw the ing ended once remaining, and those at least had three letters. Same with that other thing. Run maintenance routine. Why did I do that? This guy is gonna kill me first. Loading personality. Robco RS3 V4.1.6 Utility Helper. Receiving sewer. Maintenance routine. Please hold. Link terminated. I don't actually know if that guy is actually going to do anything of use. There's another door here, which I can explore. Oh no, that goes to old Orny. Huh. But unless the robot turns aggressive... I think we can just walk about... Oh! I should probably loot this room as well. Probably. Seems like a smart idea. Fire hose nozzle, I don't need that. What I do need is a cookie. But I don't think they have any around. And I also need to stop breaking all my poppy bloody pins. I mean, bloody poppy pins. That way. Oh well. That's a knife. Don't think the knife. That's scrap metal. I don't really need scrap metal, but it's useful. And though I don't really need to make myself better, I can still sell them for... What was it? 10 caps each? Which really isn't as good a price as the other option. Old only underground. And that's where my heads. heads. What the? How the hell did you get in here, smooth skin? Uh, I'm looking for only power works. You know where that is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Uh, just right through here. Only there's a few death claws down here that might have other ideas. You know what I'm saying? If there are so many death claws around, how do you survive? Yeah, we ran faster than the others, that's how. Ain't nothing honorable about it, but we're still alive, and they ain't. I can live with that. Listen, this wasn't my fault, okay? It wasn't my idea to tunnel down here. I just went along with it. But whatever. What's done is done. Me and Kid, we're getting out of here. You came in that way, that means we can get back out. See you later, Kid. Have fun. Right, uh, does this mean I can loot all your stuff because you're leaving? Apparently, yes. Oh, you had a little generator in running down here. How did you get that one here? Guess they might, might have found it here. Take nail board. Sh what? Is it a melee weapon or... It's a melee weapon. Okay. I thought it looked like a bit like a gun. At first. I thought it was a rifle. That's a fire. Okay, so the power works are right through here apparently. But the only concern is that there may or may not be a couple of death claws around. Or well, plenty of death claws around. Whichever. We'll survive. Um, though I do need to see about this whole 
issue of carrying some ridiculous amounts of shite probably in the form of this prototype medic power armor which I don't really want to throw away because it may or may not be useful I'm not entirely certain there uh, that's really valuable I have 12 death claw claws hands whichever and 18 red scorpion glands well, actually these are probably what's, what are slowing me down here but I keep in my inventory full uh, I already have a lot of spatulas I don't need more right now not just yet I wish they had location names so they have reason to collect all of them <laughs> oh well uh, I don't need a lunchbox that's for sure but also, what I also don't need is those cost 30 and this cost 25 so um Let's drop a lot of hands. Where are these hands? Thought they dropped a lot of hands. Ah, oh, there they are. 12 death claw hands. That yeah, looks like one to me. But that's what you call stackables. And that's a toilet, isn't it? Do we need to do this toilet right now? <gasps> it's in, there's an intact garden gnome, but it isn't named, so I don't need it. There were still those named gnomes around that were from the mod that added additional interiors, but I haven't really found all of them yet, so um, I can just let that be. Empty soda bottles and metal boxes. Oh, there might actually be something in the metal box. There is not. Never mind. <coughs> What's going on on that table over there? I think it might be one of their allies that was trying to tunnel into here. Yeah, that's Badger. Hello Badger, you have a nice hat. Rest in peace, Badger. Oh, hello Connolly. I didn't see you there at first. Can I disintegrate him? No, he's dead. Oh, he's all the way over here, I just... There's a small piece tossed out of him that I could was already able to loot. Ah, there's another corpse. How many death claws are down here? Yes, I am still quick saving every five seconds because that's what I do. Trained. I mean, I'm trained. To work this way. It's like uh, one of those... Uh, God, I gotta think of the reflex causing this guy's on my idea. Exactly that, yeah. Conditioned reflexes? No? I don't... No. I, if you're reading this, it's because you might be able to help. We're thinking about branching out. Underworld was a good start, but we found an even safer place for us to set up a new place to call home. Old only. No one ever goes there. No one would ever think to look for us there. There's tons of space under the town, so we're looking for a few strong packs to help knock down some walls, clear some space underground, and help get things up and running. Uh, it sounded like a good idea, but you know, I guess they didn't account for the death claws. Damn it! You spooked me. This is gonna get some headshots. Huh? Well, a headshot in. That's a good start as well. Hello, Sanders. I uh, suppose he was the S from the note. Probably. Well, hello there. This place looks even less safe than before. Can I climb this? Yeah, I can. There's another intact garden gnome. There's another intact garden gnome, but this is just intact garden gnomes. That I don't know what's going on here. There's also a ball. And lots of small balls. 
Does it look like any new blue balls there? A harmonica? A teddy bear? A mini nuke? More teddy bears? A toy car? I was hoping that that was something else, but it was not. In the some pre war money, yeah, that's always nice. Do I have alien money now for when I need to balance out trades? Alright, do we see anything or anyone? We do not. There was some sci-ho. I don't know if I need that. Okay, actually, I know we don't need that. But there are enemies nearby. So that is something to keep in consideration. We still don't have line of sight on anyone. Hello, giant skeleton. What are you doing here? Why can't it ever be cloudy on my day off? Well, there's some eyeglasses, glasses, even. And other stuff. Crutch. I think that could be used to make some weapon, but I don't remember which. Uh, yeah. Alright. I thought I heard something. Motion. Of some sort. Yeah, I do need... Better merchants. I wish this game had something like Creeper from Morrowind, which was pretty overpowered. Or even better, talking bloody mud crab. No, I don't want your hand actually. That's risky. That's some noise from some uh, again. Oh, drugs. Syllables. Less spooky. Ah. Whatever lies down there might be spooky there. But until we get there, I'm just gonna loot everything up here. So that's. Well, not everything, I don't need earnings clippers. But, you know, just uh, the general area. Find everything I deem worthy of looting. Like ammo, which I'm never going to use because it's not actually for any useful weapon. Yep. Uh, right, almost went down there. I'm Ravia. Guess we don't have any rain, any whichever for any station here. Basically, we can't get a single radio station here. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, okay. I think we can walk up here safely. Then I noticed the hole and I was no longer as certain. Might be something down there that just notices me and tries to go all berserk like. On the other hand, we can rest, so that might not be the case. Seriously, son, what are you doing? Are you trying to do some sort of flares or something? Because I can't see shit again. And as I've mentioned before, my curtains are closed. Shouldn't be this damn bloody bright in here. No explosives there. Ah, there's a staircase. But I think I'm gonna look into this next episode, so thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Whatever. I can't hit anyway. There we go, straight for the barrel of his gun. Which, as we all know, is a death shot. Yeah.
There's no way one can survive a shot to the barrel of their gun.